it's the Rotor Keeper, and this is a Pyramix tutorial. So to start off, just some basic notation stuff. You want to hold it so that you have it flat in front, and then this will be R, this will be L, U, and B. And when you're turning it, there are edges with two colors and then there's these ones with only one color and they are connected to these little tips now the tips don't move so like no matter how much you like scramble it or whatever the tips don't move they can get turned like that but you can always just turn them to solve it see that's one piece of plastic So let's scramble it. So to start off, I always like to solve the tips first, but some people like to solve them last, but let's just do them first. So this one, we can turn it here, and that one is solved. Then that one, that one, and that one. So the tip is solved. Now we have to solve the pieces that are connected to the tips. So it'll look like a radioactive or whatever sign. So these three. And to do that, I always like to do blue first, because that's what I learned on. But it's pretty easy to be color neutral. So to do that, we need to get them all on the same side, but it can only be on one side that it'll work. Because you see like here too, but it's not working here. So we find the blue tips, which are right here. And then, so since the blue tips are here, that means that this is the side that will work. So we already have this one in, then we can turn that one in, and then that one. So now we have this sign. And now we can take this and turn it on the bottom. Now that we have that done, we need to finish up the bottom layer, which is pretty easy since there's only three pieces that need to go in there. So we put in these edges with two pieces in. We need to look for ones in this layer up here that have blue on them, since blue is right here. So just um, look for one. Here's one. It is the green blue, and green and blue goes right here. So we line it up so the color matches. Now, when you're inserting like F12 on 3x3, you do the opposite color, but for pyramids, you do the same color. And then you kind of like F12, you just open it, put it in, and then put it back. So that's like. L prime U L if you want an algorithm. Then here is the yellow blue. So line that up and put that in. And this last one is flipped, but to get it out, just pretend that you're doing one of these pieces. Just open, uh, take it out, move it out of the way, and then put it back in. And now, all the ones that I just did were on this side, but it could also be on that side. In that case, you would do it like that. But in this case, it's right here, so line it up, open it, and close it. And that is done for that. For the last layer, there are five different cases that you can have for the last layer. And I'll show you all of them. The first one is this where you have all of them not in the right place. So to do this one, there's two different ones. There's this, and then there's a mirror to it. So to do it, you find the one piece that doesn't match. Because you see, like this piece matches right here, and this piece matches right here. So you'll find this piece that doesn't have any matching. Put it in the back. 
Now we'll look and see which one that is. So if the different pieces right here, because you see that color matches, if the matching piece, if the not matching pieces right here, then you do the algorithm R prime L R L prime. Then you'll see we took that piece out. So we'll do what we did when we made the bottom layer. Just rotate it to match this up, then insert it, and it's solved. The uh, one that doesn't match this on the left, then you start with the left, and you go L, R prime, L prime, R, and we took that piece out, so we turn it, match it up, and then insert it, and that solved it. Next case is very similar to the soon on 3x3. Three three. So it's where there's two colors right next to each other so you have like headlights on every side and you want to have it so that this color matches up not right here. So like that. And the way I recognize between them because there's this and there's a mirror to it. So the way I recognize it is we uh, look Right here, so here's red, and here's red. So for the red to get to right here, had to go that way. So in the algorithm, it's going to be like the soon, where you go R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Except we're going to go R, U, R prime, U, R, U, R prime. And you see, I was turning it that way. So a mirror to it where you see if we look here it's green and the green are right here so that means that it had to go that way for these greens went that way. So then we do the algorithm except turning it, the top layer that way. So R U prime R prime U prime R U prime R prime and that solved it. Then there's this one where it kind of looks like parody where you just have these two and they're flipped. So you just need to flip them and it's a pretty simple algorithm. You just do that thing that we were doing earlier. You go R prime L R L prime and then you do U L prime U prime L. I'll show you again so it's so R prime L R prime or R L prime U L prime U prime L and that solved it. I hope that helped some of you out. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.